came up here last week talking to the camera i came up here last week and i thought we had some rotten wood down here i could tell it because it was so spongy mm -hmm. but after getting here this morning it looks like it's actually up further than that so we're going to start up high and work our way down until we find all the bad plywood i went in the attic and i couldn't get down here so i couldn't see it from inside um, just start by loosening loosening up the shingles they're basically going to come out one at a time until you find the plywood and then it's really not that hard just gonna watch what watch what my guy's doing you can do the same thing at your house if you have bad plywood. Shingles are not that hard of a job. I'm going to go through the whole video, start to finish, and show you how to do this. If you pay attention, you'll have the same results. Obviously, we got bad plywood. We can feel it. And the nails are deteriorated, rusted. These are electric galvanized nails, which are not my favorite nails ever. I hate them. Oh, look at that. It's terrible. Whew, goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. That's where it is, right there in that seam. Yeah, right on the seam, yep. One of the nails came up. Yep, yep. So it's higher than that. It goes up further than that, doesn't it? Oh, stops right there. Nice. Okay, good. Good, so it's this down, it looks like. Good, well, at least we know that. We just take them all out until you get to where you need to be and then cut your plywood out, and replace it. Replace your felt paper and your shingles. I don't know where the leak came from, but it came from somewhere, so we're gonna get rid of it. With one of these little flat bars, just like what he's using, shingles are fairly easy to get out. He's just digging right at where the nail is, lifting it up, and then pulling the nail out, and then take the shingle away. Until you don't find any more rotten wood. Could be a long video, because I'm going to show the whole entire process. I might have to make it in two videos, so I'll do a one and a two, possibly according to how long it takes. They went straight up and down. They didn't pyramid. No pyramid. You can see that, right? Just straight up and down. That is not the way, the correct way to run shingles, by the way. Oh, wow. Hmm only that one spot huh well this stuff feels soft oh it's not nailed oh, no. <laughs> not nailed that's why it feels soft oh, no, no. no nails so i have to cut that piece out yep yep no nails yep i was wondering why it was bouncing i thought for sure that it was going to be rotted right here because it bounced but it's only bouncing because of the seam right there well now we know so apparently I'm guessing what happened here was one of the number eight nails from the um, sheeting. When they nailed it, I have a feeling one of them came loose and poked a hole in top of that shingle. It poked a hole in the shingle and therefore created that leak. So one of these nails probably came straight through the shingle. And then it just started leaking. Yep. 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 It doesn't go above. So we need some blocking too. Yep. We need a little bit of blocking. <clears throat> Hopefully one sheet of plywood will do it. If not, I'll go to the building supply and pick up some more. Just for you. Generally, when I'm doing one of these repairs, you would probably see Paul, my guy Paul. But Paul's on vacation at the Hilton. He got 90 days. Dummy.
I'm glad they're not stuck, my friend. You know it? I'm glad they're not stuck real bad. That's nice. Coming off easy. Yeah. She might need a roof before too long on this place. I know she needs a new roof, right? Yeah. Look now. I know. I know it. It's crazy. Yeah. We're gonna see if we can get a repair done for her and get her by for another couple years. Yeah. And then if we can, good. She told me the shingles were only 17 years old. <laughs> Looks older. Oh, yeah, it's rotten down there, too. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's why we're going to take off two rows. Yeah, yeah, we'll need another bundle. I need some blocking, too. I'll go grab another bundle while you change in the plywood. Okay. You don't have any starter strips in your truck, do you? I yeah? No. Yeah, okay. Starter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's rotten over there. You see what they did? They they put the felt paper under under the that, and it's supposed to be on top. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Supposed to be on top. Yeah. Okay. And it's underneath. That's wrong. Yeah. Your bottom felt paper always goes on top of your drip edge. Always. Yeah. The only time you put it on that like that is on the on the rake. The bottom, the felt paper always goes over your drip edge. You don't put felt paper down and then drip edge. You put drip edge and then felt paper. So make sure your roofer is doing it right to start with because that will cause problems. Some roofers will do it that way if you don't watch them.
Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, one piece of plywood would probably work. Yeah. I'm going to take the drip edge loose. Yep. Yep. Just right on the seam, man. The only thing I can think is one of these nails poked a hole in the oh, shingle, yeah. right? Yep. Poked a hole in the shingle right there, and that's all it took. Slowly but surely, it'll just rot your plywood out over time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Started right there. Ran right down. Yep. And then the plywood nails is what poked holes in the shingle. Yep. Now he's just pulling all the nails out. got two places so yeah two feet and two feet right yeah. yeah and then we'll put a four foot piece in there yeah 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 we'll yeah. mark it mark it for two feet mm -hmm. or wherever the rafter is all right looks right, like this the two feet right this looks like it four yes two. yes okay. yep 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 so we'll cut this piece out yeah. and then that piece out and then put a four foot piece in there yes yeah yeah that'll work we just have to pop a line here on the yeah. rafter and then do the same thing over there. So you got to take some well, more out. Well, You're going to have to yeah. take it out all the way. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think four more shingles would be good. Yeah? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. And then two feet, two feet. Bundle. One bundle, right? Yeah. Probably be one shingle short. <laughs> one shingle. Whoever did these shingles did them wrong. Yeah, whoever did these shingles did not do them right. They went straight up and down. These shingles are made to be put on a pyramid. The uh, three tab cheaper shingles are made to go straight up and down, but not these. These are architectural shingles and they're made to be run on a pyramid. In other words, straight up that way on an angle. And whoever did these obviously ran them straight up and down with one step back and forth, one step, eight inches or so back and forth. And that's not the proper way to run an architectural shingle there's literally supposed to be shingle 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 all the way up until the top on an angle 45 degrees get it
All right. Now that you got the shingles out, I'm gonna get out. Way down. You see it? Yeah. Driving it down. <laughs> Going down. Down there. <laughs> Hiding. So after you get the plywood replaced, put on some new synthetic felt, it's what I like. Then you just put the shingles back exactly the way they came off. And according to what it says on the back of your shingle pack, always want to nail, put your nails right on that white line right there when you're nailing it, for sure. That's basically all there is to a repair job. Whatever you took out, you put back the exact same way as they came out using the instructions on the back of that pack for where to nail it and that's how easy it is to repair your roof
Beautiful. Another small tip, this does not go with this. This is an O-A-T-E-Y, I call it an OD. This would be the universal um, pipe collar that you would put on your pipes that you see coming through the roof. What they had was the old pipe collar was cracking right there and was leaking. So if you have a leak in your bathroom, it could be coming from one of these pipes that come through your roof. And you can go to Lowe's, and buy what they call an OATEY. O-A-T-E-Y. And it looks just like this. Not this. It's just this round circle piece. And it slides over the top of the old one to cover up the broken boot. So that's just another little small tip. Just in case you have a leak in your bathroom or possibly your kitchen. If you look on your roof and see one of these pipe boots up there, it could have cracks in the rubber. Therefore, bring up an OATEY. Put a new OATEY on it just slides right over the top homeowner friendly you can do that yourself you always want to make sure that your bottoms are not sticking up like this so we're going to seal and nail them down